small update tonight on the wireless doorbell project. I've made up a little circuit board for the transmitter module. And uh, as before, as described before, when I went through the schematic, uh, provision for a low dropout regulator and some decoupling, then a connection for the bell switch, just a momentary tactile type switch, the MSP430G2211, and a watch crystal to give it a time base, and an activity LED or a socket to allow the connection of a LED to light up when the bell switch button is pressed, a programming header, and a space for the 433 MHz transmitter module, and the high side MOSFET switch to switch this transmitter module on and off to save power. So, this is what the board looks like. I've gone for a round board this time around. Uh, I've never tried making a round PCB before, but I've sent this off to Open Source Hardware Park for manufacture. It'll cost about seven bucks, zero dollars postage, which seemed pretty good. And I'll get three copies of this board. So hopefully it'll look real nice. As I say, never tried a, a circular board, but um, yeah. Let's see how this goes. Main reason for the circular board is to um, be able to just uh, mount this in a block of wood that's been routed out a bit with uh, a drill bit, a bit like this. So these drill bits allow you to, you know, cut out a circular hole in a piece of wood. And I just like this circuit board to be able to drop into that this view is magnified and it's my assembly diagram just to give me some guidance as I assemble this thing as to where all the various parts go. This is particularly useful for these uh, surface mount parts where it can get confusing as to, um, well, what goes where. So I create these little keys like this that can then be related back to the diagram here and uh, it makes it very easy to see uh, where I need to put which components. So this is the device at actual size. It's a 30 millimeter diameter board. Uh, that's the bottom PCB. This is the top of the PCB. It's a single sided load. So all the components are on the top side of the PCB. The bottom side has just got the uh, through hole connections and uh, a little bit of silk screen, but not much more. I've broken out all the unused I.O. pins on the MSP 430G2211 in case I want to use those down the track. And I've also broken up, uh, broken out a couple of test points, so particularly ground and 3.3 volts as, you know, that's really handy to be able to reference those things when I need them. So a few more weeks before this arrives in the mail, so there won't be much more progress on the transmitter but I hope to start doing some things on the wireless doorbell receiver. That's it for now. Please like, subscribe, and please give your comments.